Take 34. Action! Good evening. This is not a party political broadcast, a television advert, or a documentary about the life of the lesser spotted woodpecker. It's Christmas in Westbury! This is the tale of a small community in the heart of Wiltshire and its quest to save the annual Christmas celebrations. A story of how members of the community pulled together with music, dance, art and the search for a magical button. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we shall begin. Thank you, councillors. We have one additional item of business. We have received letters from a Mr. E. Scrooge and a Mr. Grinch, demanding that we cancel the Christmas in Westbury nonsense entirely. So let's move to a vote. Cancel Christmas in Westbury entirely, or proceed with a virtual switch on. This is Councillor Brenda Pond. I'm definitely in favour of Christmas. Councillor Gordon King. I'm voting in favour of Christmas. Councillor Cunningham. Completely in favour of Christmas. Councillor Barbara Swan. Councillor Jane Russ, in favour of Christmas. Councillor Janet Parker, definitely in favour of Christmas. I'm voting for Christmas. Councillor Josh Tuckles, I vote in favour of Christmas. Councillor Amos, and we vote for Christmas. Councillor Mike Kettledy here, and that's a big yes for me. Councillor Sheila Kinnins, and my vote is for Christmas. Nick Pine, in favour of Christmas. Councillor Ward-Jones, absolutely in favour of Christmas. Get away, Scrooge. Okay, as you well know, the magical Christmas light switch on button hasn't been seen since last December. Ian, any news? Well, we've set up a subcommittee reporting directly to this committee, which will establish the provisional task finish group to investigate appropriate search criteria for finding the button in time for the Christmas celebrations. Brenda? Yes, Ryan, our events manager, is leading the inquiries, but if we run out of time, we may need to call in the police. Jane? I'll chase Ryan tomorrow. Okay, that'll do for now. See you at the full town council meeting in five. Hi, Ryan, it's Councillor Jane Russ. Just ringing to check up that we're all okay for the Christmas light switch on. Yeah, 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 we're almost um, set to go. Good. And um, have you located the magical Christmas light switch on button? Sorry, Jane. Jane. Jane, I've got another call. Ryan? Reception. Bye. Ryan? We're live from WTC Radio in association with WCR on 105.5 FM and online. It looks like we've reached breaking point in Westbury Town Council's search for the magic Christmas light switch on button. The button was last seen December the 1st, 2019 in Westbury Marketplace. We understand that the switch on can't happen without it and so the search continues. Stay tuned in for updates. Uh, we've received information that you might have been the last few people to see the magic Christmas light switch on button. 
Not me, I'm sorry, officer, no. Do you mind if we take a quick look in the boot, sir? Oh, of course not. No, not that one. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Merry Christmas. And a Merry Christmas to you, officer, and to all the residents of Westbury. Good evening, officers. Good evening, Mr. Mayor. How's the filming going? See you at scene 17. Santa. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Um, you know the Christmas light switch or button? Do you mean the magic Christmas button? Yeah, uh, I can't find it anywhere. You don't think you can help? Oh dear, it's missing. Maybe make another one? Can I make another one tonight? Sorry, Ryan. Anyway, I've got Nash. Good luck to you and to the team. Merry Christmas to all. Good evening to you all and a very warm welcome to All Saints Church, Westbury. My name is Rebecca Harris and I'm the new team rector here in Westbury. And since I've arrived, I've been really impressed with the way in which this community has really drawn together and worked together, responding to the many different needs in our town that have occurred during this coronavirus crisis. It has been a terrible time for many people, but it has been wonderful to see the way in which the Town Council, for example, has responded to the needs of our community by feeding the hungry, the way in which the schools have responded and cared for the children and families, the way in which the churches have cared for the sick and the dying and the bereaved. It has been really a wonderful effort and a really good display of the way in which God is at work in our community. So I'd like to take this opportunity to wish you all a very happy and healthy Christmas. I pray that God will bless you this Christmas and that you will know his peace and joy at this time. God bless you all. had a lockdown and in that time nature's had a real chance to bounce back and replenish itself and so I've got my camera and I want to see if there's any change to what there was before the other night dear as I lay sleeping 
I dreamed I held you in my arms When I awoke, dear, I was mistaken And I hung my head and cried You are my sunshine, my only sunshine You make me happy when skies are gray You'll never know, dear, how much I love you don't take my sunshine away I'll always love you and make you happy If you will always say the same But if you leave me and love another You'll regret it all someday You are my sunshine, my only sunshine you make me happy when skies are gray You'll never know, dear, how much I love you Please don't take my sunshine away Hello, Ryan? Yeah, no, no, sorry, I've spoken to a few people, but I haven't had any news. Look, I, I can get in touch with Spider-Man if you like. Oh, what the? Oh no, I still got my mask on, silly me! Oh, oh, who wants me? Ah. Oh, hi. Yeah, hi, where's the Spider-Man here? How may I help? Oh yeah, okay, yeah, we've also got another contact. Uh, from Westby, New York. His name's Mike. He knows a lot of people. Hi, Mike Cesarano. Hey, how you doing? The magic button for the Christmas lights? You think someone may have exported it to the USA? Okay. I can speak to a few people. Yeah, we got this. No problem. Brenda. Hello, everyone's fine. You haven't seen the Christmas light switch on button, have you? I can't find it anywhere and I'm getting a bit desperate. Mm. Sounds like you're in a bit of a pickle. I'll ask around, but don't worry. I'm sure it'll turn up. The town is behind you, though. We're here live from a small paddock on the edge of Westbury. <laughs> No good. And so the search for the Christmas button continues with members of the community pulling together in a bid to save Christmas in Westbury. Is that the lesser spotted woodpecker? Hi Stevie. Hello Jane, how are you? Hi, I'm fine, thank you. Listen, I'm wondering if you could help me. We're looking for the switch that switches on the Christmas lights and we can't find the button anywhere. Oh! She's lost the Christmas button! Oh! Well, I definitely haven't seen it. What about you guys? Did you see it? What? The button with the illuminated lights on the side? Yeah, you know what I mean. It's about 70 centimetres tall. Big red button on the top of it. The one used by the Christmas car competition winner to swing on the switch on the Christmas lights last year. The red button that was left by Saga to the town. You mean the button that was on the stage at the end of the last concert? Yes, that's it, Stitchy. That's the one. There you go. Yes, that's it. Have you seen it? No. Uh, uh, <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye! Bye! Bye, everyone. Bye. We all know a man from the frozen North Pole. Way across the ice and the snow and the cold. It stands a log cabin with the elves of the day. 
making all the presents because we all want to play. The Santa went to school, but he never did try. He can ride that sleigh, he can make him fly. Go, go! Go, Santa, go, go, go! Go, Santa, go, go, go! Yes, gentlemen. Yeah, that's rocking, rocking. My name is Sarah Harris from Westby Town Council. Abraham's Kitchen was started by the staff here at Westby Town Council to provide great ingredients and yummy recipes for families across Westbury. Each family receives an ingredients box brimming with healthy produce delivered to their doors with a nutritious, healthy recipe included in each one. Children are then challenged to cook at home for the rest of the family. Here, Ben Lebec, our very own French cook, to show you one he made earlier. Ben's train is late, Sarah. Um, don't worry, we're going to sort this out. Welcome to Abraham's kitchen. Um, today I'm going to be making a custard with a beetroot and long life skimmed milk with Italian tube pasta bake sauce. Pretty special with this on the Ben! Sorry. I'm so pleased to see you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ben Lebeck and I'm the manager at the Three Horseshoes in Chapman Lane. Today, I'm going to make an egg benedict, but with a twist. So instead of using a traditional uh, muffin, I'm going to use a bagel. And also, instead of making a poached egg, I'm going to make an egg snowball. Right, so first of all, we're going to pass the tomatoes through the sieve. Take a fork and press that down. Take a bowl, break it, and make sure you separate nicely the yolk from the white. And a second one. So get your electric whisk. Take another jug, your hollandaise sauce, pour it in there, and that in the microwave. 30 seconds. Now grab one of those molds, take your egg whites and fill up the mold in each one of them. And then with the back of your knife just scrape the excellent. That now goes in the microwave for 20 seconds. Now grab your plates, a little bit of baby spinach, a bit of ham, that's ready. Grab your tomatoes. So the San Marzano tomato, they grow in Italy and they have a complete different taste. They are really, really nice. Take your bagel and put it this way around. So you see the, the, the hole of the bagel is what's going to hold your egg. Dig a hole in the middle and you grab the egg yolk and you pour it in the center of two of them. You gently unmold the other half and pour it on top. Now that goes back in the microwave for another 20 seconds. Make sure you cover, you have to be generous. Take your spoon again and gently scoop it out and place it on top of your bagel. And there we go, so just final touch, a bit of black pepper, so just a little bit of chive on top. And there you have it. Uh, egg Benedict uh, with a twist. Bon appétit and Merry Christmas. Hi, I'm Amy from ALW Dance. We run classes for children aged 18 months and upwards in Westbury. Our classes are really focused on positive impact of mental health. The arts is really great for this as it allows the children to express their thoughts and feelings, gain some self-confidence and self-esteem.
Hi, my name is Hilary Reid and I'm a volunteer puppy walker for Guide Dogs for the Blind. I have been doing this for the last 38 years as a puppy walker, um, a fundraiser and a committee member. We have people going and losing their sight every hour and so we really rely on the public to help us in our quest to make sure that anybody with sight loss has the chance of a dog. There are currently a few people in Westbury that are in receipt of a guide dog. News just in, with only moments to go into the light switch on, they still haven't located the magic button. As police step up the search in the area, the quest to find the magic button continues. Across the room and I saw your face The decorations made you seem Like an angel in that place Looked across to you and I asked your name and The rest is history but The memories of that night remain and We sang Christmas songs to the night Christmas songs in the candlelight when I think about you and me you know it's Christmas songs and candlelight I see the lights were shining bright as you danced with me Shone into your eyes And you were all that I could see When we spoke I knew the day had come And by Christmas day I knew you were the one and We sang Christmas songs into the night Christmas songs in the candlelight when I think about you and me You know it's Christmas songs and candlelight I see What about the button, Ryan? Oh, I still can't find it, Sarah, and we're running out of time. Have you checked the button cupboard? Button cup. Ryan, have you checked the magic button cupboard? at WCR and WTC Radio. Let's go live to the home of the competition winner.
live from the home of the winner of the Mayor's Christmas card competition, who will officially be switching on Westbrook's Christmas lights very shortly. A member of the team is now rolling out the cable that will stretch to the marketplace where the Christmas lights will be switched on. Okay, mate, we won't be needing that.
And that concludes how the community came together for Christmas. How wonderful it is to see so many people pulling together in a time of need. I hope you enjoyed the story. I certainly did. Merry Christmas, everyone. Nicholas, darling, would you like a hot cup of cocoa? Oh, yes, please, Mary, dear. Final scene, take 12, action! On behalf of Westbury Town Council, I would like to confirm that all the scenes in this video were in fact live at the time of recording. But at the same time as you watch the lights turning on in this film, the lights really did turn on in Westbury. Are we, are we doing the woodpecker bit? He's blown away! Oh, okay. Well, it's Merry Christmas from me. And a Merry Christmas from me.